Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering DS lists, how to create, use, and destroy them, and also why you would want to use them in the first place. But first, this video has been live now for some time on my Patreon page, that's patreon.com forward slash RM2K Dev. So a special thank you is in order for those supporting RM2K Dev over there. If you're interested in helping fund the creation of more videos like this, then please consider donating a few dollars to help pay for the expenses that go into content creation like this. Video editing tools. Photoshop, engine licenses, time, and things of that nature. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. With that said, let's get started. So a DS list is essentially a 1D array. However, it comes with some advantages. Those advantages are in the functionality that Game Maker offers you for using a DS list over a 1D array. Some of these advantages can be found in the form of the functions that are available to us. For example, finding a specific value at an index, finding the index of a specific value, replacing an item at a certain index, shuffling our list. So for instance, if you had a deck of cards and that was, you know, stored within a list, you can shuffle those, uh, shuffle those lists quite easily without having to roll your own shuffle functions. And a, a couple of other um, benefits are uh, also in the fact that we're able to store a DS list inside of a DS map or a DS list inside of a DS list. So, for instance, if you had, say, for instance, a list of heroes and those heroes needed to have a list of equipable item types, you would be able to store a list underneath each list. So there's some examples of places that you could use a list and why you would want to use them over, say, a one dimensional array. So let's get started. I'm back with my um, demo project. It's just one object in a room uh, that we'll use to display uh, variable variables on the screen. You will be able to download this project off of my blog. Just check the description when this video is live and you'll be able to find the links for this project. So I've got to create a destroy and a draw event here. The first thing I'm going to do is open my create event and you'll see that I have two comments in here. The first comment being create a DS list. The second comment being store data in our list. So with that said, I'm going to create a list called my list. We use the function DS list create to do that. Uh, as I've written here, my list equals DS list create. So essentially I'm saying to game maker, hey, I need a space in memory to store a list of items. Please allocate that memory for me and I will use it when I'm ready. So game maker's gone off and made us some memory now. We're able to use our list by adding some information to it. The way we do this is using a function called DS list add. And the first property that requires is the ID. The second property is the value. So the ID is going to be my underscore list. And the value is going to be whatever we want it to be. This could be an ID to another game object. It could be a string of text. It could be a number. Uh, it could be another list, for instance, if you had to have a list of lists for some specific reason. This can be anything you'd like it to be. Now, I'm going to create a list, and I'm just going to label down some fruits. So I'm going to say apple, and I'm going to add a few more of these. Uh, apple, banana, uh, I think I spelled that right. Um, another fruit, I can't even think of fruits. My god, grapes, there we go. So we have a grape, and we'll also have an orange, just because... Why not? So now what we've got is a list. We've added some information to our list. What we need to do now is to use that list. Now the way we do that, I'm just going to go into my draw event here and I'm going to draw those fruits to the screen. The way I do this is I'm going to set up a for loop. So this is going to be for i equals zero. That just stands for index. This could be anything you wanted it to be. I'm going to say while i is less than, this is going to be the size of the list. So ds list. I'm going to use a function called ds list size. The ID of the list that we want to use is my underscore list. So this is going to say uh, we start at zero and while we're less than the size of the list, we want to increment i by one, i plus equals one. You could also use i plus plus shorthand for that. Uh, I just use i plus equals one because I find that for readability purposes, it makes more sense to come back and see this. Um, so now we have a, a, a for loop, which is basically iterating over our list. We can then pull the information out of that list and display it on the screen. So I'm going to say draw text. I'm going to draw that text at 10, position 10 on the X. And then I'm going to do 10 plus 10 multiplied by I. Now, don't worry about this. Uh, it's not really that fancy math, but all I'm saying is that I wanted to start at position 10 on the screen. So the first item will be at position 1010. 10. And the reason for that is because 10 multiplied by i 
The first item in the list is going to be zero. Anything multiplied by zero is zero, so 10 plus zero is 10. The second item in the list will be one. 10 multiplied by one is 10, so 10 plus 10 is 20. So this list will ascend down the screen. And the value I'm gonna use in here, again, you could do this in one of two ways. You could say DS list, and then you could say find, uh, find index, or find value my underscore list and position i, which will get you the value out of the list. And let me just run this so that we can see that this works. There you go, we see you have apple, banana, grape, and orange. The other way we could do this is by using accessors. Now, if you've seen my DS map tutorial, which was posted earlier, then you will note that we have accessors. Now, the syntax is slightly different for a list. A list uses the pipe. So to use an accessor with a list, I'm gonna say my underscore list, square bracket, and then I'm gonna use a pipe for the query, uh, and then square bracket. Now this time it's gonna be pipe i, because I'm saying I want to get the object out of the list that is at position i. Now if I run this, this should also compile and work. So there's two different ways that you can get the information out of the list. However, that's not all there is to a list. The one more thing, sorry, there's one more thing we need to do when using a list and that's that when we allocate that memory in our create event, we say to game maker, hey, I need a space in memory to store my list. And what game maker does is it goes in it, it reserves you some memory. Now in reserving that memory, you're, you're actually consuming the system's resources. If your game is running on a phone and it's got, you know, 256 meg of, meg of RAM, you're consuming some of that RAM, but you're not removing it. You're not giving it back to the system. And what eventually happens is as you create these objects and they go through their destroy cycles, you know, if they're enemies or items in a game or whatever they are, you're basically creating memory and not removing it. So we need to delete this list when we're done with it. If we don't delete the list, we'll essentially use up all of the system's resources, eventually forcing the operating system to forcibly close our program. And if that happens, you're going to get to the user what looks like a, like a crash. That's quite simple. I'm just going to say in my destruction event or my destroy, DS list destroy and the property is going to be my underscore list. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to use DS lists within Game Maker. I hope it's been informative in some way, shape or form. If it has, please don't forget to leave a like and comment on this video. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and look forward to the next video, which should be another tutorial on one of these data structures that you can use inside of Game Maker. Thank you for watching and bye for now.